Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be doing the Daytona Daily Race A from last week. Uh, sorry, I haven't uploaded it. But um, what I would recommend for your qualifying, make sure to load a ghost. It gives you a nice line. This goes for any track. You can follow it behind and you can just find the right racing line. Which is what I did. So yeah, right now we're 32,000 in the world. That goes up quite a bit in the future. So um, yeah, let's just get straight into a quick hot lap. So as you can see, I've got the ghost in front of me. Um, this is that was my warm-up lap. So right now my record is 46.4, hoping to improve that. So yeah, 46.3 there. Um, so now we're onto the quickest lap. As you can see, taking the wide outside line, then you cut in. And what you really want to do is not go all the way to the yellow, but slightly to the yellow. I'm using third person cam just to show you. Um, the livery we're using is the cold triple days of thumb livery for the Corvette. Uh, everyone's in the Corvette in this race, so it's like a full no tuning anything. All you can do is like visuals, but, but no wide body, so that was the one. Um, had to sell one of my cars because it's got a wide body, which is quite a But um, yeah. So we're going to pull up to the line here, and as you can see, taking a wide, but I think I should cut that over and that be quicker. And getting a 46.2, which is reasonable on my time. So yeah, pretty happy with that. So into my first race, um, these races were very short, there were only 7 laps of Daytona. So, qualifying 4th here, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm never going to be able to move back because fourth, fourth, flash the lights, you got to do. Um, and yeah, we're just going to wait for the start here. You don't need to pit in this race. Um, everyone's doing it on sports hards, so it's completely about skill. Uh, there's nothing really that's not about skill. It's all the same car, same tyres, same everything. So. And this will be one of my first miles in the car. I've got one mile on it. Uh, it's a really cheap car, so it's in at 80k. So uh, I think everyone pretty much in the whole Grand Turismo could use it and do this race, which is nice. So we can start here, get right into the stream, slipstream stream behind people. And um, what you also want to know is I made a lot of mistakes in this race. So yeah, it wasn't a great race for me, but um, like you can see, first mistake already made, taking the wide slipstream. Even if there's the whole of the pack in the wide, take the inside would be a lot quicker. I guarantee it. Um, anyway, we're going to try and get in the slipstream third here. We're just going to speed this up because nothing's really happening. And then we finally get close to them. The first overtake of the race, I'm going to follow him through the wide. And again, this is another mistake. So I can get pushed out into the barrier. But luckily, I made a stick. So that's good. And. There we go, taking the inside, that's what we should be doing. Never follow that outside wide. So I've made a bit of time on there, even though I was on the uh, inside. But this bit cut across into the slipstream. And first mistake, second mistake already made, taking the wide slipstream again. Which you just said don't do that. But look, taking it and then this guy called JTE Ken Black, Ken Block, will be overtaking me quite easily inside without any slipstream so just shows and then he's gonna go for a risky move on first first the ghost so yeah quite hectic here I'll take make the same mistake again taking the wide and then Dave comes up the inside so I can't even challenge that I'm in the barrier and I've lost touch with the front group so not very happy and now we have to defend from the behind. He, see, he's on the outside, and you can just see the inside will always be quicker than the outside. So he's going to tuck back in behind me. Um, and we're just going to try and make up some time here. Um, going to skip ahead a few laps to see if we can catch up to that leading group. Alright, we're still up with the leading group again, and up with the battery again. So that was lovely. I enjoyed my two seconds up in the winning group. And yeah, now we're to the final laps of hoping for that barrier and 
rear-ended by Dave. So I hate him, he sucks. You know, should go and get to him. So yeah, I left the second in white line because he's stupid. He can't drive. And then also, Pomez was like, oh, I'll have a bit of that as well. So he goes up the inside. That was fun. I hit the barrier again. So I can't exit out of corners. I realised because um, on this track, it's better to have a steering system and stuff. There we go. And that is the first race I've done. Now into the second race, starting off pole here, um, I am in pole and this is because of I set a way faster qualifying time. Way faster. Like to the point I got top one thousand in the world, which is crazy. Yeah, I'm 989th in the world on this uh, event, which is really cool to think about that I managed to do that. Um, short, sheer luck, you want to be. <laughs> um, and yeah, I stayed um, top 1,000 rest of the events uh, lifetime, so that's nice. So starting off pole here, um, could accelerate fully, and I made another big mistake here by letting this guy pass. As you can see, I've gone, I've just lowered my throttle, let him go round thinking oh I'll just go into a slipstream but this race did not go very like that and it was a not clean not a clean race at all so much ramming as you can see it already been rammed so we're gonna get behind Lexa I'm just gonna bump draft him because I feel like I probably did the right thing here you bump drafting get the car up to speed we've got rammer behind us so we want to be careful so yeah, I think bump drafting is the best thing I can do right now. Close against the wall there. And we're going to follow Lexa. Um, nothing really too crazy happening. Built up a bit of a gap to the people behind us too. Tents. Uh, and it's growing. Yeah, and we're just going to keep going uh, down the back straight. Guy in second behind us. I'm going to ghost because he's literally about to drive into me. Uh, he overtakes me whilst ghosted. And he, o and he goes and does this to Alexa. Smashes uh, him into the wall. So... Not a clean player at all. Anyway, we're going to take advantage of that. We're going to get in the slipstream. And a few laps later, bump drafting again. We're going to get in the slipstream. And yeah, this is what it looks like. So pretty clean after that incident. I guess he likes leading the race, I'm not sure. We're going to go for a move sort of, I mean, and then Lexa rams me up the inside pit manoeuvres Juanio, which also slows me down and then he gets in the way again because he stops ghosting so then we've got three people who've just gone through so from second to fourth, which is not good uh, I'm not very happy about that I'm going to get in the slipstream once again uh, Lexa had any right to do that, he did basically crash Lexa out, so gonna just kind of nudge Coatsy and then he's gonna get I'm gonna get hit by Bertolino the um, and he is just gonna I'm just gonna block off Coatsy again because I don't like Coatsy. But already vendetta against Coatsy. You'll find out later in the race that I really do have a vendetta against Coatsy. Anyway we can see this front three here on the sixth lap. I'm just gonna try catch up to them. Hoping people behind are willing to work together on the straight instead of going for the overtake. I think that'll be the best move. If I just get bump drafted here. But um, apart from that, we're just gonna stay here around the final corner. See um, Lexa going into the barrier. He's gonna block me off, which is just why. Thank you, you people from behind for bumping me. Um, we've got a little tussle ground ahead. 
and we're gonna basically stay in the same position, like uh, track-wise. We've got Coates in front of us, and I wasn't having any of that. I don't want to let him pass. He doesn't deserve to be let pass because he tries to crash me out. So, um, as you can see, the Vendetta is about to get to its peak. The slipstream behind him. Use his speed. Pulling 198 miles an hour. Hit 200. Let's go. Go for the move. Clip his. Ooh, tries to clip his rear end. We're going to hold it. We're going to hold it. Clip his rear end. That's what you deserve. Get in the bin. You've been swung. And I got track limits for penalty, but it was worth it, in my opinion. And yeah, we're going to let um, Rypel take our position. But I, you know what? I'll take fifth place. Top five, top five. And I really can't be that sad about it. So yeah, um, onwards from this, actually the commentary in the race girls in a party with Ollie. So um, yeah, enjoy the races and have a great day, everyone. There's six people left in my lobby. Sheesh! Told you. Civic type up. Called... Send it, you like men. Oh what? crap. Save I'm going to win. I'm going to oh, win. No, you're not. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. You know how Paul Walker goes like, I'm going to win. Then dies. No, that's what he did. He was also driving a green car, so... <laughs> you almost had me. I almost had you. Me? You never had me. You never had your car. Super fast. <laughs> Bro, you couldn't even beat yourself. Monica! Not too Sereno, I've been beating myself since junior high. Monica! <laughs> He's clipped my rear end. He's clipped my rear end, you know. Monica! I've not watched Fast and Furious for so long. I've, I've rewatched all of them recently. Well, all of the good Monica. ones. Monica! seven and eight. I just watched... Because um, they're trash. Everything. And then I watched nine. I'm halfway through nine at the moment. I kind of gave up on it because it got to the boring bit. <laughs> Monica! So I'm now watching Harry Potter and um, Transformers. <laughs> Harry Potter, Neek! No, I, just, I don't know why. I kind of like... I just like watching it. What a weirdo. He's oh, like six foot two. I don't care. Is he, oh, is he the Gymshark membership guy? No, that's, that's my friend Jack. How are you slipstreaming past me if I can't even see you, bro? Because he's a ghost. I've just been... I've just been rear-ended. I've just been I'm just flipped. grinding out these menu books, you know. Yeah, you need to. Tune a classic car. Tune a 1965 Midney Cooper. Are you mad, mm. fam? Yeah, you do need to. Oh, that guy's gonna get track limits penalty. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna win. He's going for the clip. He's going for the overtake. You legend. Yo, you legend. let me customize a 1965 Mini. Yo, let's do my roulette ticket. Roulette ticket. I spun him. Start one star. I spun him. Well, almost. He's pushed me off. Oh, there's a BMW i3. I want a BMW i3 so bad. I haven't got that. Damn it, I don't get it. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Oh, uh, money. Five grand. Got 105k, mate. Nice. Absolutely bogging. And in the bank. I'm getting. 1965. Off. I've mini been pushed off track. Off. How much? He's, oh, I'm just he's put trying to spin me into the barrier. He's trying to Let's spin me into the barrier. On it. No wonder you're in sportsmanship barrier. rating E. I'm getting this win. I'm winning Are this you? race. Whatever it takes. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to click your own. Bro, I've gone to the tuning shop, I'm tuning this mini. This oh, guy is about fell. to go into I'm the barrier at 200 mile an hour. What, do I need to, what do I need to buy though? You need to tune it to 400 pp, so get like a turbo on there. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One more lap. Yeah! Oh, they spun each other out! Come on! Oh, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. Why does he keep ghosting? I hate this guy. He keeps ghosting. 
I'm winning this race. This is the one. Why can't I go into semi racing? I want to make the last lap. I'll corner. It's going to be the last corner. It's going to be a drive what, to the line. What do I have to get this up to? I've got the inside. You see the barrier? Just, it just says I need to tune it. I've, I've got, got the win! Everything possible. I've got the win! Oh, great. He's it's only gone and done setup. it! He's won! Eight attempts. 13 grand in the bank. Give me my daily miles. That's right, your boy won. Take a screenshot. My, my most proud moment ever. You proud of me? Oh, I got another. F in four minutes, I can enter another one. Let's go. I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you want to see a part two, if we can get five likes on this video, then I'll upload that. It's like three more races, so. Yeah, um, and there might be a win there. Alright, everyone, thank you. Have a good day.